Gosu and Carthus, so a lot of crowd control from these guys. Oh no, Genja's going to get caught out here by Arsenal. It will be Gosu actually they turn to. Genja does use that ulti. Gosu actually popping his own ulti. Whoa! Whoa! Carthus ulti backed him with it. Whoa! <laughs> they were not expecting that. SK just got in destroyed. A Carthus ulti timed him with the Gosu ulti timed him with the spray. with the uh, five man pushing onto this bottom lane and that turret is going to be melted away. Wall of Pain doesn't actually do all that much at uh, this point of the game. We are going to see now TSM moving for one last try. Diamonds is like, come here Reginald, you're not going to be involved in this fight. Pulls him away before he gets the kill in there and they are going all over to Moscow 5. Chaos is going to try and run himself away with the help of the ulti. Genji just... <laughs> Trying to get in there right at the end, but TSM and uh, you know they're gonna lose out to this one. Unfortunately, Moscow Five with six men alive right now, since they've got that ghost there with them for a little bit of help as well, and they are gonna go straight in onto the Nexus. And Moscow Five are gonna win the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge here. Yeah, and what we've been seeing here in the past couple minutes is the advantages of having a character with teleport late game. Here we go. Uh, Derek has been able to push bottom and take dragon, all these things only because he has teleport and sealed, he has no one with teleport. Yeah, the Moscow 5 realizing now. Siva ulti is down. It will be up in a second though. Not very long here. They're gonna go straight and engage. That's gonna be a crescendo going across. Snoopy actually seems to be the target. Darian will get popped pretty low and taken down by Froggen in amongst that. Also, don't forget Gangplank went down and Moscow 5 taken very low here. Froggen picking up a kill. The ulti from Kalthus is gonna come out, but it's not enough. They're all topped off. Genja, one little shot from K Yellow Pete. Tries to boomerang play through, but it doesn't. is going to flash through and catch our Locust. That will turn it heavily in Moscow 5's favour. They're going to catch up towards Skara as well. Put the ward down. Dark Finding does manage to catch up towards Diamonds. Shen is coming around the backside though. It will be Skara they go for. Has got Zonya's Hourglass to use. Will he go for it at all? No, I think it's a little bit too late. And he will get popped. And yeah, that's going to be three for nothing. Void Boy now caught out as well. That's four. And the fifth one will be Ima Kutupai who's going to try to get away with that. Moscow 5 not too worried. They're going to turn around. Pick away at those turrets. Bottom lane has already been pushed up. That base route will go down. The general ulti helps them tank it through and the inhibitor will follow 16-2. And well, that is it. Well played, Moscow 5. They are... For anything for a whole minute. That's the beauty here in position to push up. Meanwhile, you can see the rest of Moscow 5. They're trying to have to teleport back. They are out of position. CLG just piling straight through. This could be akin to Moscow 5. Here's Alex Hitch got caught out. Went straight face for checking out Bush here. They are going to take down this opening here with the little help of the super minions. And no one problem at all. Actually, Alex Hitch diving on towards Frog at the top. If he can pan across to the top there, does manage to use his on Zonia's hourglass. Now he gets the ball. Wall of pain down. He can see Snoopy diving on towards him. Snoopy getting absolutely burst down there. The two will hit him as well. You can see the ulti coming out from Diamond Pro launching him in the air, but again, they could not secure that kill because they're just too damn tanky. Yeah, they're tanking through all the damage and eventually... Wicked is going to get dropped. He has to use his ulti, but the death fire grass was just enough to drop him in seconds. There's the Ash Arrow. That's going to land nice. straight on the back of Yellow Peak. Cleanses that one off. Crepo is going to use this, uh, the Shirelli's Reverie. That's the word I was after to try and get away from this one. Not the first time I've stumbled on that one. But Darian will finally close this one down. The inhibitor is up. That's going to get picked off. But they are in a four on five with the Baron on the turret. I think they're going to feel very confident in being able to dive this one. Froggen is completely out of position. He hits out to back away. This inhibitor turret will surely get dropped. Yellow Pete hasn't got cleanse available. He's got to be careful. He doesn't get involved in this one. It will surely be Moscow 5's to win 22-5, Jad. I just don't understand how Moscow 5 have turned this round into such an epic performance. Kills and 
no return here yet from SK. They are ready to keep pushing. Everyone else coming down from the top of the map. They want to push this bottom lane right here. Kevin will eventually fall as his ghost times out. And now Moscow Fire are looking to close in on SK's base. Here they go, going for that bottom inhibitor as they have three pushing mid. The crescendo goes on to the yellow star. He gets the arcane shift and the storm shield from Janna to stay alive through that ignite. Janna almost getting hit with explosive cast. It looks like Moscow 5 NQ ready to get onto these uh, Nexus turrets. Will they have what it takes to take down both? As real ulti coming out, there are super minions though. They will not be taken down too easily. One Nexus turret falls. The next. Thank you. You won't see Mundo die again, most likely, as he gets way too aggressive. A lot of the team as well went for those uh, Tabi boots. Looking for the damage from Ezreal, but that's not going to be helping anymore. There's crowd control that they're getting locked up with that is allowing these fights to continuously happen. Stanley teleporting in, so we're not going to see some kind of cheeky backdoor strat. They're all going for the same lane. They're all going to be, not same lane rather, but they're not going to be jumping lanes. They're going to pick that lane and pressure it down. Looks like mid is going to be the first choice for Little Balls and the option to run towards top with his teammate BB. They're gathering together now in front of this turret. The attack speed from Essence Flux is out for both Little Balls. There goes the exploding cast. Looks like they will initiate this fight on. The turret goes down. Darian gets caught out. He can't even ultimate the crescendo. Stopping them from using the abilities. Diamond Prox goes down. The inhibitor is open. The double kill comes out. Moscow 5 looking very quick. It gets old. You think it gets old? It <laughs> does just, get old. Yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, Alex does pick up the blue buff. They come around the side. Oh, Candy Pandas, you gotta be careful here. There's the grab. This get caught out. It just dropped in a split second, a blink of an eye, and he goes down. Darian goes aggressive, balls deep, some might say, and he drives on there. Counter strike on towards Kevin, but the rest of the team do back off. They pick up the turret, no problem. And they're just gonna drive on towards the inhibitor now. Moscow 5 in full aggressive stance. There's nothing that can stop them going through this entire base right now. I don't think anything SK could do would be able to stop them. They are just going to drive it home. And I kind of respect SK here not surrendering. It's the nature it's of a tournament. competitive it's a game. It's a tournament. tournament game. I do like when teams end up playing it out, seeing if there's anything they can do. But this looks like an unstoppable force moving into their base. And they might just back off and clear the extra turrets because their creep line's a little short. Or they might just try to end here. Let's see what happens. to that top, uh, sorry, to that middle lane and take down that inhibitor turret as well. That's all turrets down now outside of the base where the fight's going to kick off, flame going low. There's a Zyra ultimate, Ezreal ultimate comes across brilliantly as well. Ambition pops his Zonyas, he's got a Guardian Angel in there as well. Flame's Guardian Angel was popped. This should be two kills straight after one another. There we go, it's Ezreal and Sona that pick them up. Captain Jack is one of the last hopes that's trying to get as much help up as they can before they go in to try and rescue the Nexus. The turrets are down though, and Moscow 5 are going to take out Azubu Blaze here in the IPL 5 lower bracket and move on to play CLG. He's on base. But that was an okay situation. He didn't want to have to run to the wall, but he's, like, he was still in an okay spot. But now the Baron buff is too much. The inhibitor is going to take it out. The fight has started. Oh, there's the initiation from Maokai in the command shockwave. Goes to Pepper, winds up popping down the crescendo, but Alex Each is already gone from this fight. Genji's trying to get away. Does wind up dodging the hook, but Diamond Fox going down. Guardian Angel has been popped on his side. TPA camping on top of Mundo like it's some sort of FPS game there. Mistake winds up going down. Toy's taken very low, but he still has a Guardian Angel available. Only three members of M5 are left alive. Ken, Darian, Gendra, and Ghost Pepper save their tournament hopes. Oh, there's a hook going down from Mistake. Inhibitor going down. The top inhibitor is going to get dropped as well. This is Gambit Gaming. Could they take it 2-0? I'm not too sure, Joe. You can see Azubu Frost trying to react. 
Yeah, they're coming back in here as Uber. They want another go. They've all healed up. A look at Templar. He's the big tank in the team, and he's just been absolutely destroyed. Woom, the next focus. He goes down. Kill for Alex Sitch there. Mad life now, the next target. Darion going to destroy him along with Diamond. Rapid start now. Last man left alive. He is going to fall down. Double kill in the end there for Genja. And Gambit Gaming are going to take the Nexus down. And 2 0 as Zubu. This could be a big, big push from Gambit. They're going to take the inhibitor and the inhibitor as well. Two 30 second plus death timers on Azubu. They might look to end right here. They have tons of armor tankiness. They've got the Siege minion as well, and he's going to take a lot of hits. It's going to be the first wow. Nexus turret of the game. The Intel Extreme Master's eye in Kappa Good well. is going to drop down, but it's going to be Alex Siege. He's going to try and engage on towards it. So as he goes for the better, the equalizer comes across. Crescendo only caught one member right there. Cataclysm comes dumping down. Diamond Prox is going to get dropped by Peke. And now it's going to be another kill. Alex Siege on towards Sino. Sonny Zag, that's from Alex Siege. Is it going to be enough? The Moonfall pulls everyone in towards him. He's still got that Guardian Angel. So as he's going to get taken down very low, but it doesn't matter because Genja's been dropped. It's a double kill. Picked up for Yellow Star. Can they get on towards Darian? One more shot. He's been chased on towards the next. Mountain. Fnatic may well have done it. They're going to take down the inhibitor in the top lane. There's minions pushing up the top, the middle, and the bottom. And Fnatic are on the Nexus turrets. The grand final winners will be Fnatic taking down Gambit. Very crazy point in the game where EG, they're gonna have to fight to save something here. It's just a matter of, will fucking be up in time before Gamut gets there and forces these objectives. Well, Diamond is gonna be pushing that mid lane out. The rest of the team pretty much here in this bottom side of things. And look how fast that turret goes out. Alex actually gonna get hooked into this one. We're gonna see Shen get involved. Strangle Thorns go down as well. Alex falling low. He will use his onions. There's a bullet time which doesn't do what they would have wanted there in the end. But Darian forcing in there towards the back. Snoopy goes low. There is a Requiem to finish off one. And Gambit with that, gonna take the Indian. They're gonna try and finish. I think they can too, they have so much time on Yellow Thief being down, they get the first one and Joe, they're gonna do it! They are gonna do it, it's Gambit Gaming here, one last fight, it's only Wicked that stands between them here, and the World Playoffs, can they do that one? Wicked gonna fall, and Gambit focus the Nexus, a 2-1 thrilling best of three, Gambit Gaming! Losing with Nunu the first time, but they bring out Nidalee the second time. They bring out a different composition somebody has not used yet. And these guys are still able to come through with wins. An amazing play here from Najin as they may make a final push into the base. Genja is at a point where he can come up big on one of these fights, but there can be zero focus. I think you're right. The, the bottom lane here for this team has definitely solidified themselves as a huge threat. Also in this game, Nagne showed a new champion. That's yeah. also very huge for them. This Nidalee has been quite effective. They also have somebody else to play in mid if they want. In the presence of Song, Nagane, however, coming up very big for the team. We see a 14 oh! gold lead from downtown. The Spear coming up big, going on to Voidal. This could be a final push here. Darian taking a lot of damage on the outside. It looks like the composition brought out with Nudu in the jungle again. Wasn't too much for Watch. He shows his privy. They are able to come up big. against the red we thought maybe that's just the red you know they're up against a team that's weaker they came up against cloud nine they went 2-0 again they're up against fanatic it's another demolition another 2-0 i don't think anybody has told gamut there is no prize for most kda until they refuse to finish the game and just kill fanatic over and over and over darren showing his best dance moves there and uh yeah I mean, I'd like to analyze this game <laughs> further on, but I think I think my work here is done. He's, he's tanking the entire team and not even got his hands on the keyboard. That's not good. That's not good at all. And it is going to be 29-5, Joe. Yeah.
What a performance Gambit have put in. We shouldn't really have questioned it. It's Gambit and the Intel Extreme Masters. Yeah, they are the masters of the Intel Extreme Masters, and they are going to take down the first Nexus. Sorry, can't see Fnatic being able to stop them here. I think Gambit will stop themselves to hunt for kills at this point, rather than Fnatic stopping that happen. 6-0-3 from the top lane, 11-1-10 out of the jungle. The Nexus is already down to half HP, but they want more kills. The bomb goes over towards the fountain. Alex trying to keep them out there, but it is finished. And We've got this beefed up Darien with a Guardian Angel coming in and he's got blood set. There's nowhere for Bloodwater to go. Bloodwater was like, wait, home is the other way. But there's a need to be had. Glad you didn't go for the easy joke about the blood scent and the blood water riddle. Very proud. You, yeah. They're going to take the bit inhibitor Don't after suck. that one too. Real good work uh, for Gambit. It looks like they actually want to end it now too. They got the turrets in their eyes. The Nexus is there. So is two points coming in. In the Battle of the Atlantic, if they can take down these turrets, they look to be taking down the second.